بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا فورتھ لرننگ پیتھ ڈپلائی اینڈ مینٹین ایسٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک کنفگر اینڈ اپ ڈیٹ اے ورک اسپیس ایپ وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن کریٹ اینڈ مینیج ورک اسپیسز اینڈ ایسٹس وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ رپورٹس اینڈ ڈیش بورڈس ان اے لاٹ آف ڈیٹیل اینڈ وی سا دیٹ دا تھرڈ موسٹ امپارٹنٹ ایسٹ ان اے ورک اسپیس از این ایپ which is used to distribute or share the data. So now let's go back to a Power BI workspace and see how we can configure and update our workspace app. So here I am back in the Power BI service and here I am inside the workspace that we use to create the dashboard. So we have a few reports here and we also have a dashboard here. So we have a couple of reports and we have a dashboard. And now we are going to explore the third most important way of distributing or sharing the data, which is an app. So in order to create an app, you are going to see that there is this option here, which says create app. So I'm going to click here on create app. And this opens up a three step process of configuring and setting up an app. So the first step says that you have to build an app, which needs to have a name and a description. So you need to give a name and you also need to give a description which is mandatory. So let me just give here a test app so that it doesn't, doesn't matter that you, you can just have a couple of uh, words so that this field is filled. And then you have the option to pull or upload a logo. So you can have an app logo which can be assigned. Then you can obviously pick a theme color and then the contact information of who is actually setting up this app. So it can be an app publisher, item contacts from the workspace, or you can also show specific individuals or groups. So these are the standard settings of an app in the first step, which is the setup. Then there are a few advanced settings which are related to how the app would look like. So there is going to be a navigation pane. So you can set that, okay, the uh, navigation pane should expand by default or it should collapse the navigation pane by default. So this is an option of how you want the navigation pane to look like. Then there are certain global app settings where the app, if you want the app to be installed automatically, you can check this box. And if you want the users to make a copy of the reports in the app, then you can check this box. So normally you do not uh, want to check this. So this is all about the first step, which is the setup. So let me just click here and go to the next step, which is the adding of content. So what you can add inside an app, you can add any report or dashboard that are present in the workspace in the app. So here, if I just go and first expand this, so here it says that you can add a link or you can add a new section. So first, let me add a new section. So I can just double click here and give it a name. So let me just give it a name in introduction. And then I have the option to actually uh, either rename it, move up or move down. So this is the way where I can, you know, create a section and then inside a section, I can create a link and here I can post any link. So here it says that you can insert reports, dashboards and workbooks directly from your workspace and you can also add the website links so either i can add from my workspace so or otherwise i can add a link so let me just click here and show you that what is this add from workspace option first so add from workspace option allows you to pull in anything from a report from a dashboard or from a scorecard so i can pull in a complete report or I can pull in my dashboard. So let me just pull in my dashboard here. And then maybe I can pull in my other uh, report, which is the, the this one. And then if I go to add a link, I can even add a link. This is a website link and you want it to either open. I can copy the URL of that link and either that link can open within the same tab or in the content area or a new uh, tab. And then, you know, uh, which section do I want it to actually go into? So here I have my workspace. So let me just add it here. And you are going to see that the two uh, report and the and the dashboard have been added here in my uh, app. So the, the two um, the assets or two artifacts, which was my dashboard and my report, these have been added here. And let's see what is there in the navigation pane. So there is nothing right now because in the report, you 
might have an option so here you can actually move it uh, up or down so let me just move it to the introduction so it becomes a part of this uh, the, this content so you can play around with this and you can actually see what actually is there but next the third and import most important step is that whom do you actually want to share this particular app so like i said that apps are usually meant to be shared by the for with the entire organization so here the default option uh, option one of the options available is the entire organizations or you can actually specify the users or the groups here and then in the advanced tab you again have the option to allow people to share the data sets in this app audience so you are allowing uh, people to to share the data sets associated with the app or allow people to build content from the data sets in the app audience so uh, so these are some of the options which are available so the last thing that you do while creating an app is then you have to publish this app so let me just publish this app and it is saying that typically it takes some time and i am going to just click here on publish so after a few seconds i have got this message that the app was successfully published in the workspace and it is also giving me a link to copy this app and share it with people so so this link is also available but i am going to just go and click on go to app and this is going to take me to my app and how the app actually looks like so this is now opening up my app and it, it is going to take a few seconds and this is how the app actually looks like so this is your navigation area this blue area this area is the navigation area that we created and this is how the content of the apps look like so this is my remember this is my uh, report page and this is my dashboard so now both of these are have become a part of my app so let me just click here on the dashboard part and it is taking me back to the area which actually is belongs to my dashboard and if i go back i know that this part actually belongs to this part here this this style here it belongs to my report but i am not going to see any action here because this this uh, particular uh, report from which this i, I took this uh, this style is not included as part of this particular app so it is not taking me back to that report the the functionality that we are seeing here for this particular tile because this is now a part of this particular app so this is how you can create an app and this is very good for sharing with a lot of people and some of the options that we saw for the reports and dashboards these options are again available here in the app as well so if i go back to my workspace let me go back to my workspace and the last thing that i want to show you so if let me just go back to my uh, workspace area so if i go back to my workspace then i can see the name of this particular app so this is not the workspace so this is the workspace from which i actually came here so now here you you see that artifacts are available and here if you come and you see this point the last point which you the last column if you see if you scroll to the right here it says included an app yes included an app yes so here i have this option where it says that these are included in your app so so you can actually go and uh, see this and then you also have the option to update the app so if you have created the app then you can actually go and you can also update the app and it is going to again take you to the app and then you can make any changes uh, you want to add anything or you want to remove anything or you want to actually add some uh, more recipients to the app you can actually go and do that one last thing that i want to show you is that if i go to my home tab here you are going to see everything which is uh, which is there in my workspace so here you can actually go and directly access the app but here in the three dots there is an area which says apps so this let me just come to this area which says apps and here it is going to show you the app that was created just now so here is the app that i just created this one is the app that was created there are a few other apps that have been created so this is a centralized area where you can go and see the app and this is the icon which is associated to the app so this is how you can configure uh, a workspace app and then obviously if you want to change any of the 
any of the settings or any I want to update anything in the app then you can go and update the app as well so that's all for this particular topic and I'll catch up with you in the next one